What's up guys, this is Jay with Jay Fitness. What's going on? One of the biggest questions I keep getting asked, how do you set up your home gym? Because everybody know I have a little gym set up in my garage. So let's just take a look. That's how I did it. All right, so what's going on guys? A little windy out here. So today, I'm gonna show you how to set up your little home gym using your garage. All right, so you can see, I want to get a view to show you where I'm coming out, that I use the walls to do a lot of the work and uh, take things off the floor. I'm gonna show you the equipment. Let's see, I put everything on the walls, with my bars, belt, a uh, little calf machine and I put here a small cable machine. Weights over here on the floor and over here my wife waits and I put a vest on the wall. Like I say I use the wall a lot. Over here on the black is a small heater. It's about to get hot here. It's in the south, so I you know it's about to get hot. And uh, you will see right here, I use a shower curtain and a shower rod to block off where I keep my, you know, my little yard stuff, my blower, my, my edge trimmer, and things like that. I have a small deep breather in there. So I just cover it up with that, and it works great. As you can see, you can't see And here is crazy. This bench here. I purchased this from Walmart probably 14 years ago. And you see it's still in great shape. And I, since I don't do any kind of uh, bent, I mean, squatting, I don't have a squat rack. And I have uh, degenerative disc disease, so squatting just aggravates it, so I don't do it. So this is why I purchased the um, The strap um, squat machine. I don't know what they have to offer, but this works great. I just put the strap around my waist and go down like squat. Um, even has a little back and hold my hands so I can be on balance, but it works great. So since I've got that and this uh, calf machine, um, been able to work my lower body a little more. Now I get all this stuff on a budget. Guys tight on money. I hate spending a lot of money, especially at one time. So I look for deals. Here you'll see pull up bar. Just purchased that. I think I paid $120 for it. Um, the dip. Little dip machine here. I end up getting it on sale for like $69. Even this um, my bag, my Muay Thai bag. Uh, it's boxing Muay Thai. Whatever you want to do with it, and they ship for free. So there's no shipping cost. It was not weighted. So I only paid the flat rate plus tax, which is good because everywhere else wanted to charge for a full bag, and it would cost more to ship it than the bag of that. Now up here, I mounted it with a spring-loaded uh, bracket. Uh, to me, that's the best thing to do. Now, I did spend a little money on that. They ain't gonna cost no more than hundred something, hundred ten dollars. But they have different ones, so you don't have to buy that one. But it's spring loaded. I just wanted to make sure, you know, it will come falling down on me. <laughs> but over here, I put up a little small TV and I change it out. Um, maybe to a bigger TV, just like a twenty-four inch. And over there, it's not just a clock, it's a timer. So it's set up to my phone so I can do sets, rounds, um, all types of stuff. And, um, and it works great. And below that is a sound bar that I bought probably about $10. And I connect it to my phone. And it's boom, nice sound, everything. All right. So that's what I'm saying, guys, you can put this together on a quick budget. Over here, 
here. You see, I got a 16 pound bag, step uh, box, went to Row Fitness for those. Bought those right before the pandemic. I'm just going to show you everything. First, I'll go back and uh, explain where I purchased it from. So everything here was pretty much bought on a budget. Um, I hate paying full price for pretty much anything. You know, I'm one of those dudes. If I can find a, a sale on it, then I'm going to take it. I don't care if it's 2%. Here's how this works. I always look for deals. And you need to also do that. Yard sales, uh, go to old gyms, go on websites. Just ask, go on your uh, community group. They got a Facebook group. Ask them anybody getting ready, uh, any equipment. Um, I remember a year ago, we gave away a treadmill. And uh, as soon as my wife posted it, so we was buying a new one, but she was getting a new one. And uh, she posted it, anyone need a treadmill, free, just need to come get it. And this lady hit it back and within five minutes or less, she had just had a kid maybe two months ago, look, try to get back in shape. And she was like, please, please, can I get it? Can I get it? We were like, yeah, we'll hold it for you. So I had to wait for my husband to get home. It's just me. And I said, well, if you can get over here, I'll help you load it up. And that lady came in a van. I mean, she came in a minivan and got that treadmill. And I ended up putting that thing in there. But just something that quick, she ended up getting a, a nice treadmill for free. So, and even like these uh, mats I have in here, these orange mats, I got them from a friend that was, uh, I actually have any, oh, I know he, re he renovated his space, so I knew he had some mats laying around possibly. So I asked him, did he have any that he wanted to get rid of? He's like, sure, how many you need? I said, I'm not going to remember the size. I said, you know, just enough to fill up maybe half of the lot. He said, yeah, come down, what, $120, you can get what you need. So I took the best ones that he had. I wish I would have gotten more. I wasn't even thinking about it like that. But um, like I said, it was $120 for these mats. And it's a little wear and tear, but other than that, they're in great shape, you know. And the rest of the stuff is uh, padding from... We had our old carpet pulled up to hardwood floors on, so I kept the padding and put it in here on this floor. And it took up majority of the floor. So guys, I use Titan Fitness. Um, it's a good company. Like I said, I'm trying to get a plug in with them, trying to get an affiliate with it, but you know they are a great company to purchase equipment from because they don't charge for shipping. So, you know, most shipping are charged by the weight. So that's the good thing about Titan Fitness. They don't charge you for the weight. And so you only have the base, I mean, the, the, the price and tax. So you don't get charged for shipping. So I ship this bag here for free. Um, all these weights, the bumper weights, all that came, you know, I got it from them for free. Um, I just purchased this calf machine, and uh, I think it's like $130, $129 I paid for this. It was on sale, usually it was like $179, and again, shipped for free. Yeah, this right here I end up getting from some people that uh, lived in the community next to us, and he was wanting to get rid of it for some reason. You know, it had a little wear and tear on it, but not bad, so it used this thing like four, five, about six hundred. We taxed about six hundred dollars, but he was set for like three hundred. So I jumped on it uh, because I can't do regular squats. So because I have uh, degenerative disc disease, so regular squats are just re-aggravated, and I'll be down for the next two or three days. So this thing here, I can put the strap around my waist and do the regular and go down as far as like squat. I uh, put some boards up under it to make it higher, so I can go down lower with dips on the squat. Like I said, you got to be a little creative with your stuff. But anyway, I ended up getting this for $300 and went to 
domain price is close to $600 with tax. So you got to uh, get creative with this stuff. You know, like I said, I purchased the bag. Uh, the mount, I had to get a little creative with it. I was trying to be cheap at first, but then I wasn't. I didn't feel secure with it, you know, like pulling my damn ceiling out. So I went ahead and just put in the money for this and bought a spring-loaded mount. So this mount actually probably cost more than the actual bag. But it's cool because I, I'd, rather, I'd rather put a little money on that and not tear up my ceiling than not, you know what I mean? And like I said, right here for, you know, I got a little clock here. It's a clock and a timer. So I can do uh, reps, whatever, sequence, whatever I want to do, breaks, whatever. I can set it up through my phone. So it's Bluetooth. Below that, just a regular Bluetooth sound bar I bought for $10. So TV, uh, little 24 inch I had purchased a long time ago, put it up, but I'm going to switch out for 40 inch. I've been here so much now, I'm actually watching stuff. The mirrors is crazy. Uh, at Walmart, they had these mirrors, and I just put them together side by side. But I think I'm paying like nine dollars for each mirror or less. So I just put them beside each other and made one big one. You know, jump box, everything. And the thing is, how you arrange it in your garage or in your room in your house, you don't need a full actual gym, just the things you need to work out, a, to get a good workout until you get to a gym. You know, like right here, that um, this um, stepper, climber, I don't even know what to call it. But anyway, I ended up getting this for free through uh, my Walmart rewards point. No, I'm sorry, Wells Fargo. Um, Rewards points. And see, that's another thing. You can use your reward points. They always say you want to redeem it. And then you can go to it and pull up different types of things you can redeem it with. You don't have to always do cash. Right? My jump ropes over there. All my little accessories, you know, things I need to work out with. Even got a, you know, a vest. But like I said, I bought all this stuff in time. I didn't buy it all at one time. So that's what you need to do when you start purchasing. Just think about what you need and uh, versus what you want. The things you need right now, and that's what you need to go get. Put your money into that first or what you want to do. Then you start adding on. All right, guys. So. All right, guys. So that's it. Cut and clean. I used the wall a lot to keep things off the floor so I don't have a mess. So the biggest things don't have a messy gym. Make sure you have space. And guess what how I clean it? I use my blower to blow it out. Like I said, ask questions. You got these Facebook groups, Instagram, anything just like anyone getting rid of weight, fitness equipment, all type of stuff. Somebody's getting rid of something somewhere that's close by. So be a little creative, ask questions, always look for deals don't go for the first thing if you see something try to find it similar in other like um fitness channels you know if they sell any equipment just look around because i look around i mean i can look for hours sometimes for certain things and then when i find a good deal okay so i go with this one but like i said i used to tighten fitness a lot because they don't charge for shipping so i can order all kind of stuff and I just get the flat rate plus tax. To me, that's a great deal. Uh, the quality of the equipment so far has been pretty good. I know some people like certain types of stuff and certain equipment. I'm not a power lifter, so I don't need that power lifting equipment. And some of you not power lift. So don't try to get into a bodybuilder stage and a power lifter stage and you just starting out. Try to stay in your lane for right now and build yourself up. Well, guys, I hope you liked the video. Hit that like button. Definitely subscribe and hit that notification bell. And uh, just watch out for some more from me. Well, this is What's Up with Jay Fitness. 
And I'm Jay, and I'm going to holler at you guys later. Peace, and y'all take care out there.